How have we undermined the gospel by presenting Christ as another option? Well, let's understand that that has happened because we, at least in the Western world, through technology, have now the privilege of many options. So culture itself has become accustomed to wanting many options. Well, you know, if I don't like this, well, don't worry about it. <laughs> because I don't have to ponder, I don't have to really wrestle with this choice. Because if I don't like this choice, I just flip the channel and I'll get another choice. And we see this in marriage, don't we? We see where people say, well, I, 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 like, I like to keep my options open. So I married Jill, but if it doesn't pan out, don't worry, because Jane's just around the corner and I can marry Jane. And so on it goes. Uh, so this, this whole notion of an obsession with options, and then Christians say, how am I going to present? Oh, I'll present Jesus as an option. Well, what we are doing is that Jesus is not an option. He's exclusively the way, the truth, and the life. He's just not another option. It's not, oh, why don't you try Jesus? What have you got to lose? That sort of thing. So in what, what might we do is, how we, what we are doing in doing that is we undermine the true sense of the gospel. There is only one solution to mankind's real need. The relevance of Christianity is to humanity, not to culture. The, the relevance of Christianity to humanity is that humanity is lost, they're born alienated from God, they need redemption, and they need to be reconciled to God. That's not an option. Uh, it is the only option to go to heaven, I understand. So when we say, oh, well, why don't we, this is a better option for you, um, or this will make you a better person, whatever. Well, that undermines the true nature of the gospel. So are people then just coming into the gospel and thinking, but if it doesn't work, I, I can go somewhere else. Well, we don't want to encourage that kind of thinking. Because what that kind of thinking has led to is a lack of commitment and a lack of sacrifice. But Jesus says, if you're going to trust in him, you have got to take up your cross and follow him. Jesus says that once you put your hand to the plow, you're not to look back. Not that we don't sometimes, but that we're not supposed to. So this option, many options that in presenting Christ as an option, were undercut in the very... Um, the very nature of uh, Christianity itself, which is calling us to a sense of true commitment and a true sacrifice. But if I'm just thinking it's another option, why sacrifice? Why be committed? Because tomorrow I'll find something else.